I've been spotted. I. Didn't even have time to say I've been made. Hey, hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of DP Live, where my name is Dana Pond, and you would be watching this DP Live, possibly even in real time, except not today because it's a pre recorded video. Um, so today I am joined on the couch by my best friend, Pert Pickles, from Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found, and her friend, Turbo the Turtle. <laughs> And if you want to check out Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found, check out the links in the description below. There's Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, all the good places. So today we're playing Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade, hopping back into it. This will be episode 18 in our little series here. Um, <laughs> lots of episodes, but we got this. So where we last left off, I think we had done a bunch of side quests and side missions um, while Aerith was getting changed. And um, Aerith has finally changed, so we're going to go check on Madam M and see what's going on. And um, I think that's where we are. So yeah, without further ado, let's hop on into the game. Let's play some Final Fantasy VII. Let's do this thing. Gotta love the music. Every time. So what happens when you want to play Final Fantasy VII? You want to pick up from your last save? You hear this music? It's just nostalgic. Okay, let's pick up where we last left off. Okay. No! Cloud! Finally! Tifa! She... I... Tifa! She, she's... I don't... Take a deep breath. What about Tifa? I heard Corneo was gonna audition new girls soon. And Tifa's... Tifa's gonna be... I just... I, I don't know what to do. Well, I do. I'll come too! Hey, Cloud! Bro! I can call you bro, right? Nope. Just wanna say, bro, that I'm totally relieved that you're looking out for Tifa. So, like, how'd you get so strong anyway, bro? I said... The way you fight, bro, is like poetry and violence. You know, I really wish I could be just like you, but my problem is that I tend to overthink and overanalyze everything. So, bro, do you have any advice for a smart stand-up guy like myself? No. Oh, come on, bro! Well, this is it for me. Call me crazy, but, uh... I have a feeling that I'll just be getting in the way. Go find Aerith at Madame M's. Tell her to wait for me there when she's done. Think you can handle that? Yes, sir! Main scenario, rescue Tifa. Again. Got that letter of approval you mentioned. Hmm? You know that's only good for women, right? Yeah, it's for Aerith. Who? Oh, that girl you were with. Sorry to hear that. Well, either way, you're stuck out here, pal. I can't let you in. I wasn't asking for permission. Huh? Wouldn't try it if I were you. Trust me, you don't want to screw with the Don. If you even think about causing any trouble, he'll make sure someone pays for it. And that someone might wind up being the girl you're trying so hard to break out. Or it could wind up being someone you've never even met before. Get it? You're in the Don's world now. Anyway, you've got some time yet. The audition won't start for a while. If you're sure you want to go through with this, then bring the girl and the letter. But if I were you, I wouldn't. Alright, so we're gonna head back. I think, unless he's got anything else to say to Go us. Come on, get out of here. His name's Leslie. Get out of the 
away. Quit talking. Move it. Move it. Come on. This is so gaudy and impossible to move in. Uh, 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 yeah. Loud? Uh, uh, excuse me. Huh. Hey, wait a minute. Did Johnny forget to give you my message? The one asking me to stay put? No, I got it. I was worried about you. I'm starting to think this place is more dangerous than we thought. Who knows what they'll ask you to do in this audition. No way in hell I'll let you go in there by yourself. By myself? Oh, don't worry. I wasn't gonna. Come on, you'll see. See what, exactly? According to Madam M, you've caught the eye of a certain fabulous someone, and they'd like to meet in person. Huh? That is a beautiful dress. Look at you all dolled up and fabulous. Where are you headed? Well, what do we have here? You're quite the pretty little lady. Yeah, have just one. The more you eat, the better they get. Red chocobo bean popcorn. What? Say that again. Don't be like that. You're still the most beautiful girl in the world. Hey there, cutie. Where are you headed? Why don't you let me buy you a cup of coffee? I've done it again. Just let my whole paper money, girl. Only took us two hours. That dress was completely overshadowed. She's a I like the beautiful flower that blooms Come on, old man. Go. This is it, your destination. The famous. Why are we here? To see the Honeybee Inn's Andrea Rodea and convince him to give you his stamp of approval. You said you didn't want me going alone, right? Well, with Andrea's help, you can join me. It'll be fun. And honestly, I think you'll look pretty cute in a dress. What? It's pretty rare for Andrea to take a personal interest in someone. At least, that's what Madame M said. Trust me, this is gonna work out great. Uh... Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Wait. No can do, Cloud. This is our plan, and you'll learn to love it. So, here's how I think we should approach him. Madame M said Andrea was a man who'd give anyone a fair chance to win him over. So I say we march right up to him, explain the situation, and see where that gets us. Sound good? Come on! Don't you wanna save Tifa? Come on! Don't you want to save Tifa? The Shinra's cracking down everywhere. Everywhere but here. Hey. Are you nervous? Good evening. Welcome to the entertainment extravaganza that is the Honeybee Inn. We're here to see Andrea Rodea. You must be Mr. Cloud. He's waiting for you. Mr. Cloud? I've been instructed to send you through without delay, sir. Please, make your way to the stage in the back. What stage? The one in the back, sir. Straight through those doors and down the hall. I've dreamt of this moment. The honey bee is. Mm -hmm. And here's the man of the hour. Chosen by Andrea himself, our honored guest. Oh dear, do we have the wrong person? 
I just wanted to see if there's material lying around the room, honestly. Sometimes there is. It's a pretty small room. Alright. <laughs> I think we're good. You are Andrea's guest, aren't you? <clears throat> this is your first time, right? It's okay. Do you want to practice your dance moves first? Why would I want to do that? Andrea thought it might be a good idea. Over here! Come on now! Hey, hold on! <laughs> um, press A, B, X, Y in time to the music using the rhythm line as a guide. Watch closely for when the panel and line are right on top of each other. Remember, you can always pause the game with pause. Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. <laughs> Take it away, honey. <laughs> Mister, move over, girls. A new dancer's come to town. Come on, come on. Oh, the show's oh, about oh, to start. Oh. <laughs> my, my. Is that Cloud? Mm. Darling, I have no idea. <laughs> you? Now you just sit tight until Andrea takes the stage. Look at his muscles. Ah, oh, he's flushing. Brave my favor must first prove that they know how to move. Yeah. <sighs> 
think you can follow my lead? I will transform you into a vision of beauty. Now, without further ado, let us begin! Notions of gender don't apply. Don't ever be afraid. <laughs> that show today blew my mind. Hey, look at me! I can dance too. How much did you oh, drink just tonight? Come over I here. can't help it. It was amazing. Drink. We can talk. 
Oh, was it planned from the start? Probably not. Now that Did was you a show. Their look of surprise. Yeah. Cloud? Yoo-hoo, Cloud. Hello? Please don't. Not a word. Not even but one? Warning, no! But you're so pretty! <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. What a great scene. recommend lifting in that outfit. But if you need to work up a sweat later, feel free to pop into the gym. Game running when I heard you were putting on I wouldn't recommend lifting in that. Love to see your crack a smile. Am I dead? Did these beautiful angels come from me? <laughs> Whoa. That is one hot chick. from Andrea Rodea and Madam M. That ought to do the trick, right? You serious? Is there a problem? I hope you know what you're in for. Oh, we'll be fine. If you say so, come on. The audition. The two of you here for the audition? Second floor, at the very end of the walk. And don't go poking your nose in where it doesn't belong. Rooms on the second floor, at the very end of the walk. That one's Madame M's girl, ain't it? Yeah, she's hot. We've been waiting for you to show. Hey, hands to yourself! We've been waiting for you to show. That Andrea's girl? I'd let her do things to me. Go to your room and wait. Quietly. Room's at the end. Keep walking. So dizzy. Gas. Uh, uh? Come on. Damn it. Cloud. Cause you leave a mark on them, you ain't getting off with a one. I know. 
Managed to learn to get some real lookers this time, though. <laughs> oh, hey, can you hear me? Oh. Tifa? Yes? You okay? Mm-hmm. Good. Wait a minute. Cloud? Is that you? Oh my god, that makeup! And that dress! Nailed it, I know, thank you. Moving on. <laughs> Nailed it. You good? Yeah, bit woozy, but I'll manage. <sighs> hey Tifa, how you doing? Uh, okay. Oh, right. I'm Aerith. A friend of Cloud's. We were worried and thought we'd come help you out. Uh, thanks? Cut the chatter. We gotta leave. Huh? Right now. No! Not until I got what I came for. What? So, after we made it back to the slums, some guys came around asking all kinds of questions. So I did some digging. And found out they were Corneo's men. Right. They were interested in Avalanche. But I couldn't figure out why. So I thought I'd come and ask the man himself. Seriously? thought if I could find a way in and get some one-on-one -on -one time, but then I realized I'd only be one of three candidates, and that if he didn't pick me, it would all be for nothing. Then your worries are over, aren't they? Because the other two candidates are right here, right? Uh, right. So yeah, if we're all in on it, then nothing can go wrong. Uh, I guess not. You? Me? Cloud? Makes no difference who gets chosen, does it? I don't know, Aerith. It feels wrong getting you involved in all this. Don't even bother trying to talk her out of it. Oh, Cloud gets me. Took you long enough. <sighs> so what happens now? I think they'll call for us when it's time. This room gives me the creeps. Is this a vending machine? Now ladies, listen up! I'm sure you're still feeling a bit woozy, but tonight's audition's about to begin! Head out the door to the left and up the stairs! Come on ladies, let's hustle! Alright guys, let's do this. <laughs> do you want to do this? <laughs> Come on, you know you're into this. Met before, have we? Mm -hmm. nah. uh, whatever. All right, y'all good to go? Then let's do this thing. Introducing Walmart's most eligible bachelor, the one and only Don Corneo. Ladies. Uh. Whichever one shall I pick? Mm. Oh. Shall I pick you? 
Or maybe you? Yeah. <laughs> Days? And tomorrow's, or the day after's, if the dawn takes a shine to you. Pathetic. Huh? Hey, which one of you said that? Was it you? Ooh, you got a mouth on you. I'm gonna enjoy breaking it in. Today's lucky lady is the Big Bone Girl. Huh? <laughs> Still playing hard to get? I can dig it. <laughs> oh, yeah. The leftovers are all yours. Yeah, yeah please! Okay. <laughs> okay, ladies. Y'all come with me. <sighs> Don't be shy, little kitten. Shimmy on over and give Daddy some sugar. No need to play coy. Nobody here but you and me. Oh, you're even cuter than I thought. Back off. Woo! <laughs> this kitten's got claws! I love it! <laughs> what was that? Don't you worry, your pretty little head. Just a picture to preserve the moment. And to ensure you don't do anything inappropriate like say no. Asshole. Oh, praise me more! <laughs> Hey, yo, fellas! We got guests! And y'all got first crack at entertaining them. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Courtesy of the ever generous Don Corneo himself, never forget the Don provides. Yeah. Good day! Oh! <laughs> so, ladies, ready to. Get to it? Yeah. I guess I'm good to go whenever. How about you, Tifa? Mm. Four guys between us. Okay. Let's not keep Cloud waiting. Right. Wait. I know you. The Coliseum! <laughs> what the hell? Get down! <laughs> Don't you stupid! Please. Good job, Aaron. It was nothing compared to you. <laughs> Andrea filled me in on the situation. I come bearing gifts with you. I'll do what I can to clean this up. Just finish the job. Oh, thank you! Okay, let's go rescue Cloud. Corneo's room, right? I love this music. You obtained a Molotov cocktail. Sick. That's awesome. Going at it right now. Lucky bastard. What are you doing here? Go on! Hey, hey, the hey. This one's for you! Here it comes! 
Done. One more shot. <laughs> Best high <laughs> ever. Bring it. I see. This one's for you. Get ready. What you a bad boy I bastard. am! <laughs> yes, yes I am! Here I come, baby! <laughs> <laughs> hey, who the hell gave you permission to do that? One of you get in here and teach this bitch some manners! Sorry, but your boys had to learn some manners too. What the? Cloud, you're close! So you're a man, huh? What are you three up to? We'll ask the questions. Like, why'd you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Nah. Huh? Don't know what you're talking about. Don't play dumb with me. Let's try again. Why did you have men in Sector 7 asking about Avalanche? Spill the beans, or... I'll cut them off. All right, all right, I'll talk, I'll talk! Hmm. Uh, some guy with a gun for an arm. I was paid to find him. Paid by who? I can't tell you that. They'd hunt me down like a dog. Well, you better. Because if you don't, I'll rip them off. <laughs> <laughs> it was the director of public security, Heidegger. It was Heidegger. Shinra. And what were they planning? Some things are better left unsaid, you know. See, I'm not so sure they are. Better keep talking. Or I'll smash them. <laughs> All right, you got me. I could never say no to a sexy girl. Since Avalanche blew up two reactors, Shinra's decided they ought to stamp them out, home base and all. And I mean, stamp out. By targeting the support pillar and blowing it up. The pillar? Did I stutter? The plate will come crushing down. It'll be Sector 6 all over again. I'm sure you've been there and seen the wreckage for yourself. So you know exactly what Sector 7 is going to look like. They wouldn't. Come on, guys. We gotta go. Before you do... No. Please, this won't take long. As everyone knows, villains only divulge their plans in a certain situation. But what is that situation? I didn't know that I was being timed. Oh, I'm sorry! Time's up! The answer lies... In the sewers. <laughs> Enjoy the sights and smells. <laughs>
At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Breathe. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Damn it, Reeks. Escape to the surface. Okay, so this is the beginning of chapter 10. Um, I almost feel like we should call it an episode here. Um, <laughs> or maybe we should wake them up first. Aerith. We have to get to Sector 7. Yeah. Just jumping right into it. I was I almost called it an episode. Who knew that we were so close? Abzu, a giant beast that Don Corneo keeps in the sewers. Much more intelligent than it appears, it uses the surrounding environment to its advantage in attacks with sewer water. Magic attacks have only a slight effect on its dagger gauge, and ice attacks have no effect on the gauge at all. Oh my god! Get him!
every time.
where it goes. Do you think it lives down here, or...? It was probably Corneo's pet. And we were dinner. <laughs> hey, you don't believe that crazy story of his, do you? Shinra wouldn't sacrifice a whole sector just to take out Avalanche, would they? Destroying part of the city, killing all those people just to get at us? I don't know. Is Corneo the kind of guy who'd make up shit just to screw with you? I wouldn't put it past him. But if he was telling the truth, hmm? and there's still a chance he was, isn't there, then we should go. And if it turns out he was lying, then so what? Right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Tifa! I knew it. These tunnels are all connected. Okay, um... <clears throat> I think we're gonna save here. Quick save, Rooney, and then um, we'll talk on the couch. We'll hop on a... Yeah, we'll talk on the couch. Okay, so I think that's where we're going to call it an episode. So thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for playing video games with me and my best friend, Pert Pickles, from Canadian indie rock band Lost as Found, and her best friend, Turbo the Turtle. <laughs> um, thanks for joining us on the couch, playing games with us. Um, yeah, no, I'm enjoying Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake Integrate. Really, really well done. Absolutely loving this experience. Um, <laughs> I thought that was just so well executed. That was, that was perfect. Um, <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. I think that it was precarious near the end there when I didn't save and then I walked up to, like, wake up Tifa and Aerith. Um, and then we ended up fighting that monster. Whew, should have saved. I, and it, I came close to dying. I don't know if you were like, oh man, is she gonna die? Like, it looked like I was gonna die for a couple times there, but, um, I'm surprised we managed to get out of that one. Um. I think with all the limit breaks right at the end, that was <laughs> that really sealed the deal for us. Uh, I don't think we could have done it without the limit breaks. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, thanks for joining us today. Um, if you enjoyed today's episode, click the like button, it should be by Pert's feet. Um, if you haven't already, subscribed to the channel, turn on the notifications, that way you'll get notified next time we're going DP live. You can catch us in the chat, or if it's a video, you'll get notified, and you can catch me down in the comments down below. Let me know what you think, let me know what you thought, let me know what you think I should play next. Whatever it is that you think you should let me know, let me know in the comments down below. And I will read them and I will check them out and I will get back to you. Um, <laughs> and if you did want to check out Canadian indie rock band Lost As Found, check out the links in the description below. There's Apple Music, Spotify, Deezer, all those good places. Not only that, if you if you know Canadian indie rock, indie rock band Lost As Found and you want to check like you want to check out their merch, you can get an awesome Pert hoodie. Uh, you can get Time and Eternity merch. You can get a Pert mug with Pert's shining face on the front. Um, you can get Lost As Found hoodies, Pert hoodies, Pert tank tops, Pert t-shirts, everything Pert. Um, and all of that and more at the Lost and Found store, Lost Has Found store, and the link is in the description below. So, yeah, no, I do think it's about that time. Thank you very much for joining us. Much love to you and yours. And until next time, um, we will catch you in the next episode. And as Pert always says, see ya! <laughs> okay, bye guys. <laughs>